I'm curious, you, you've moderated so many hundreds, if it's probably not in the thousands yet, but you gotta be getting, you gotta be getting close to the thousands if you're not there yet. How has moderating all these debates affected your faith in Christ? You know, I don't think, I think a lot of people think that it would more than it uh, does. And the reason I say that is just because I think sometimes people maybe guess that it was like something kind of new for me, but it wasn't that new in the sense that, I mean, I, I never did it at this rate. So now we've got like five debates a week on average, mm. but so it's not at this rate. I would agree. I still learn new things, but at the same time, I, I mean, I was basically obsessed with apologetics in college. So I had listened to debates like, I don't know how many times I listened to like, I, I don't know how many debates of William Lane Craig I've listened to, but it's a lot. Like I would guess it could be if you listened to like, if you counted like replays, like, I don't know, 50, a hundred, like, um, and with many different opponents, I, I'm not exactly sure how many it would be, but a lot. There's a, so in, you know, I would constantly look for debates to listen to. And they were usually like top level, you know, I always thought, I was like, well, why would, you know, like if I can, I'll look for these top level ones first and uh, try to like learn as much as I could. And so I, I don't know if a ton has changed. Like I said, it kind of restored my, Mike Jones, inspiring philosophy, restored my belief in the, the moral argument. Um, and there are some things I learned where I'm like, oh, okay, that's, a, that's an interesting point. And I hadn't known about that. But I would say, as a general rule, it's uh, I, not a, it's not that exciting. It stayed pretty similar, and that, I think it's just because, like I said, I was like literally obsessed in college. Like a debate a day, I would listen to uh, for a while. Um, yeah, that's probably not unrealistic, and so that's why it probably hasn't changed that much. Because I've heard a lot of the ideas beforehand. I think another thing is, you know. Um, on an ultimate level, like I think the Holy Spirit is like the reason where we are, where we are mm. based spiritually, although we still have our own mistakes that we make. And so obviously that's not caused by the Holy Spirit. But I, I think that our temperaments, so Jonathan Haidt is a psychologist who's argued that our morals, especially when you look at liberals and conservatives, for example, we do see these moral foundations that generally liberals and conservatives differ on, and they arguably are at least partly the result of our temperament. And I think that there's probably a lot to be said about our temperament being an influence on our beliefs, even with regard to religion. And uh, I wouldn't say that that's like I, like I said, I don't want to take away from like the Holy Spirit. Maybe it's a way in which the maybe the Holy Spirit even works through in some way. I don't know, but so that's I think maybe partly why as well is that um, I think it's true we do look at evidence, but I I mean I I think that to an extent our temperament also leads us to believe what we believe.